you ask, why have you had to continue going to court? Well, for most of us who have never had to deal with courts or lawyers, when we first think of lawyers, we think of what we see in TV and the movies, which is completely false. Um, lawyers are often portrayed as being extremely serious and down to business, and they're not. There's Lawyers don't have any bosses. There's no one to oversee them. There's no one to complain to when they mess up your case. Lawyers are not responsible for anything. What they can do is they can bill you and you have no control over how much money you pay them and there's no limit, there's no cap. When I first walked into an attorney's office, I thought exactly what everybody else thought. I'm gonna you know, hire a lawyer and I'm gonna get divorced within a year. That did not happen because my lawyers messed up my case so bad. I hired a woman who was referred through people in my town and she was very well known. And lawyers are number one, unethical or can be unethical. Many of them are. Um, and you know, they can create a very toxic divorce. They are the ones that make things high conflict. So my first attorney I hired and I gave her $30,000. And at that time I wasn't working. So I was putting everything on my credit card and I wasn't working because my son had health issues. Um, and so then um, the divorce started because we were just different parents. He was just a very abusive person uh, physically to my kids mentally to me. Um, so, you know, since he was making, you know, $180,000 at that time, and he immediately um, switched his pay from our joint bank account to his own individual account. Um, he walked into two different banks where we had our marital money, and he took $23,500 out of it. Um, so the first attorney let me sit around with no money coming into the house um, for about four months. And then she finally, um, you know, through wasting a lot of my money, saying she was making phone calls without me, um, writing letters to him that he needs to stop his abusive behavior, costing me money, but really not getting me anything out of it. So she finally filed the motion four months after I was just completely devastated. And all I was thinking about that time was just getting through the divorce and taking care of my kids and my son's health. Then in the started in October, the divorce, and then around January, January, she started writing something. She filed in February to the court asking for support and asking him to return the $23,500 back. Um, however, she called me and said, oh, you know, the courts are overstaffed. They overbooked and they need to move your hearing, you know, all the way until like the end of March, close to April. I was like, what? I was like, you know, I've been sitting around completely financially abused by him and now to wait an extra month. Well, she lied to me. She sent um, the court a letter that later was disclosed to me during my trial that she was booked up and she had conflicts herself and therefore she needed to move my trial. But that might not have been true because, you know, attorneys lie and she was 
prolonging my agony. So then I fired her in February. Then I hired another man who seemed very reputable, seemed like he understood. And he did nothing for me but take $5,000 from me. Um, so during the first case management hearing, which is the first time a judge sees us, it's not a trial, um, he let them lie and say that all the bills were being paid, which was not true because I was gagging with credit card debt. Um, he was traveling a lot. He was always out of the house, so he didn't have to see my kids or take care of them or see what he did to them. Um, he was living the high life. He was traveling all around the country uh, for company, you know, business trips. He took all of our money. He was keeping all of his pay to himself. And he still lived in this house at that time. So he was just home every other weekend. And even then, we never saw him because he always just left. Um, so then after that second lawyer for two months, I fired him when right after court because he let him lie. Then I hired a third attorney who moved my um, motion for support and for him to return the $23,500. Um, he moved that all the way until April, then May, then June. And one day he called me into his office for a meeting that, of course, he's charging me for $600 an hour just to say he's going to drop my motion because it has to be written to reflect, you know, everything that's happened to me, which he actually didn't have to drop it. He could have just asked for a modification, and that's usually fine with the courts. Um, so I stayed with this third attorney, and I was, mine is not custody. I have full custody of my kids. He doesn't want to take care of them. He's a free bird. Um, since this divorce started and even now. Um, so my divorce should have been easy peasy. It should have been textbook. But when you get lawyers involved, and I didn't know this, that's not the case. They actually make things worse. So then I stayed with this attorney for the next six months and I agreed to whatever he wanted. I signed a really horrible agreement. And um, and he still underpaid in child support and everything that we agreed to. And he kept pulling me back into mediation with this third attorney I had. And I couldn't understand if everything was set in stone, why didn't he just divorce me? Why do I have to keep going back to mediation? Um. And really, I signed it. It was really bad for me. Um, but it was my first time going through it, and I was devastated. I was a shell of a person when I agreed to whatever he wanted. Um, so then, I finally fired this attorney when he gave me $540 after he left. What was I supposed to pay with for $540 a month uh, for child support? So then I fired him. And two months down the road, he's like, hey, we're not done. I want discovery. And discovery is he wants all of our financials. He wants me to reveal all of our financials when we've shared everything for 17 years. So then, of course, I panicked and I went and I hired, you know, the most attorney, most expensive attorney I could find. Wait for part two.